I'm hot from housework, and it's late, and I don't have any script, but I've had a horrible week of depression, and I still need to get to cards for my last vlog that's still unlisted, so I'm going to do this quick. I have been enjoying really cool conversation in Life Prints group on Facebook. There was one that really almost messed me up this morning, but thankfully we have great moderators in the group. If you're learning ASL, I so recommend it. But then I recommend Life Print too. I have lesson 8 open rate this moment. Can you believe it? I am up to lesson eight. All it took was the teacher's wife and a bunch of other people talking about types of cookies, and that seemed to do the trick for me to get a hundred percent on that quiz. Um, writing is still going rather bad. I got a tiny bit of inspiration for one short story I'm supposed to be writing. And then Draft to Digital decided no more erotica. A few days after them announcing it, Barnes & Noble went on a deleting spree and closed out all sorts of publisher and independent publisher accounts. Took down tons of books. A lot of them are back up now after there was sufficient outcry against the censoring because guess what women's erotic romance got taken down but no flowers in the attic no marquis de sade no bible did you realize the bible had sex scenes in it yep it does well it's audrey dolly here I can't believe it. My master actually called her Audrey. That that took me for a loop today. And there was some humor of my daughter and I struggling to get the cat litter container open. She ended up getting out the power drill. And that was the last thing that broke the plastic seal that allowed us to open it up. Um, I really hope to get back to writing. I hope that by the time this is uploaded and captioned and everything that I'll have the link for you for the interesting Masturbation Monday piece that I wrote for Monday the 28th because the inspiration picture thankfully did its job and I was inspired to write about two of my transgender characters and I decided to be very open and blunt about the different ways their bodies worked in this love scene. Not quite what I do normally. But I hope to have something actually thought out and on topic to vlog about soon so that you can enjoy it. I still got to figure out stuff for Deaf Awareness Month. Which is coming in just a few days, and I am totally without ideas. Of course, it doesn't help that I have not been working on two houses at all. That's my book that has one of the three main characters. She starts the book as a coda. In other words, a child of deaf adults. I did just watch. No Ordinary Hero, Super Deafy, the movie. Oh, it was so good, so cool seeing all that ASL in the movie and seeing a deaf person do amazing things. I so can't wait until I'm actually able to sign that much. Um, so I think my thoughts... I've run their course as much as they are. I'm going to ask that you subscribe and use the alert button because I can't say that I'm going to upload on a specific day.
my bipolar just doesn't work that way. And also, if you like this video, please click like and even consider making a comment. I love talking to people, and most of my conversations happen online. So please give me someone else to interact with other than just Audrey Dolly and my cat. Although I have started signing at my cat. And she reacts to some things, although especially when I sign cat at her, she takes that as a sign to look away. Spoiled, rotten cat, if you ask me. But all my links and social media and my Patreon and my coffee, those are all on my About page. And of course, there's my website too. And if you want to read, erotic romance and erotica meant for people 18 and over it's over to my website that you need to go i have two books for sale right now and i hope to get my vala story books re-released as soon as possible thanks for listening have a good day